and thank you so much for being in this video i truly appreciate you giving me your click and giving me of your time i know that's gold time is gold as they say but in this video i want to talk to you about some of the best moments of the saint Seiya classic series that i consider to be the best it doesn't have to be like the standard best but this these are my best so my name is sid let me uh, show you some of the the, the cutscenes or, or clips of the scenes I consider to be like the most awesomest of awesome of all. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I upload Saint Seiya content every week, once or twice, depending on how my schedule is and how busy I am. And yeah, with no further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now for the next scene, or should I say for the first scene, pardon, uh, we have the very first scene I ever saw in my life. This is of course uh, the house of Leo, the temple of Leo, and Seiya is trying to fight for his life because Ayoria, as you may recall by watching the, the scenes, he is under the spell of the Imperial Satanic or Satanic Imperial of Arlie's or should I say of Saga Seiya is trying to fight for his life he's trying to awaken the seventh sense I don't need to tell you how awesome the drawings are in this episode this anime is what is what got me to start drawing at a young age I, I, I was around 12 or something like that you also got Marin showing up she's fighting for her life as well they're both trying to survive and at the end, Seiya is just, you know, in the brink of death and Marin... And this, th it's an interesting um, episode because Marin shares some of her cosmos with Seiya and then Seiya can, thanks to that little boost, he was able to awaken the seven sins. And then the awesomeness starts, like the animation, Ayoria says, it's worthless. He starts to, he launches his super fast attack and then Seiya can see it as we can see and then you got the super animation where I don't know how but it's so tough to draw like your favorite character in different angles but they they nailed it here and then he like evades all like the lightning attacks like the light attacks like you know the, the, the lines of light and then boom he kicks him in the face he kicks him in the face I just gotta wonder if that was a light speed kick because he was dodging light speed attacks anyway that's it for the first scene let's move on to the next one okay so the next scene I consider to be one of the best in the entire series you already guessed it this is episode 5 it's titled resurrection of dragon Remember that dragon and Pegasus fought in the Galac the Galaxian War tournament and Pegasus won by the skin of his teeth. And then he was taken to the hospital in an emergency and Dragon was laying down on you know in the floor un unconscious. And then Shunrei, this girl Shunrei says, "Please don't go. I need you to re resurrect him because we're running out of time. Blood is not flowing through the to the brain and stuff like that and only a the same hit that stopped his heart can bring it back to beating, right? The his heart beating, and you gotta hit him in the back where the dragon is. So it's very like touching because Seiya, yeah, even though he's in the brink of death himself, he says, "Wait, I want to help him, doctor. Are you crazy? Do you want to die? I never wanted him to die, doctor. Please let me do it." And then he gets up, legs shaky, and then <laughs> drama because the dragon you see the dragon disappearing slowly and then he's like no i won't let you die dragon and then he starts to press forward with his punch and then everybody's like oh my god did he, did he uh save him or not they break the wall and everything and andromeda's like i hear it beating say yeah you did it you uh brought him back from the uh the clutches of death or something like that 
and you can see all Shunrei all like praying and please God let it, let this be a miracle and yes um, I like that the fact it was a happy ending dragon came back to life and it, they became super best friends after that so that was so cool let's move on to the next scene okay scene number three you already guessed it we're now located in the Gemini uh, temple and this episode is called sent to another dimension we see dragon and Seiya or Pegasus uh, right before the illusion of Saga and remember dragon is blind in this episode and then Seiya tries to attack the illusion and then dragon stops him and says don't attack him or you'll be hit by your own attack it's so powerful because you can see them discussing in front of the gold saint and say it's like are you sure dragons like are you sure you see him in front of us i don't feel anybody and he's like of course i'm not crazy but then dragon says i felt the strange energy ever since we came into this house like his cosmo was being sent from somewhere else and then all the while dragon never let go of his hand when he was attacking and then he says say yeah we can now get out of here and then Seiya gets all like, wait, what do you mean we can get out of here? Trust me, just ignore him, just keep advancing. And then he kind of like makes him advance by putting his foot right behind his. <laughs> and then Dragon says, I can, see the, I can see the exit in my mind, even though I'm blind. And then they start pressing forward. And then there's a very funny uh, drawing. Again, I'm touching on the on the art aspect of it because man the drawings here are simply brilliant don't forget that this is the result of uh, Araki slash Jimeno duo and the, the the drawings are simply the best I've ever seen so you'll see the drawing when this is basically right before cutting to commercials and say so like I'm I'm dead Th these are the last moments of my life and he's like oh, wait Chiryu are you okay really are we gonna like go right in front of him and then they exit the house and say I saw like what 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 happened and then he gets surprised that they're actually outside the Gemini temple <laughs> I always love to uh, to draw um, style uh, Himeko uh, Araki Himeno sorry Araki Himeno because the drawings are simply awesome like just look at them so that's it for this scene I have nothing more to say let's move on to the last and best scene I think uh, there is of the entire Sensei uh, series let's get to it Okay, so the very, very, very best scene of the entire series, and I dare say the entire universe. I don't care if it's Omega, if it's Saint Show, if it's Next Dimension. <laughs> this is, to me, the best scene in the entire series. You already see what I mean. This is the the legend of the the Scarlet Warriors, or the... I think that's the name the able movie the able movie man and you see you atlas already beat up everybody like he's unbeatable and then say yeah moments before saga had died given his life again because he was resurrected by Abel, and taught say yeah to increase his cosmo to the infinite can only be done by a person that has the courage and the and the um the hope to accomplish anything so that's what they're saying all beat up with face to the ground and then he starts like getting strength I'm 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 pretty much narrating what's going on because this scene is so awesome so powerful and then his golden cosmos starts to flow out of his body and then he says stuff like we're Athena Saints we cannot die here we have a mission that's why we were born into this world and then as he gets up again he remembers how saga taught him not to you know raising his cosmos to the infinite can only be done by a person that has the courage and the hope to accomplish anything 
We cannot do that if we forget that. And then when he jumps and screams, he says, Cosmos, burn to the infinite. And then the, the other two, like Kyoga and, and Shiryu, actually are following behind. There you go, he's jumping in the air and he says, Cosmo, burn to the infinite. And then you see the Sagittarius gold armor in the back. And then the dude's like, Atlas is like, what? And now we see Hyoga and Dragon racing the, in, in the air. That's thanks to the warmth of uh, Seiya's Cosmo. And then we see the Aquarius gold armor in the back for, for Cygnus. And then we see the Libra gold armor for Dragon for my master. And then here, here comes the best scene. All the armors like they go apart and into uh, every saint's body. Look at that. When I was a kid, this was one of the first scenes that I saw in the intro because it was like a a modified intro and wow, I was like, look at those three gold dudes. What what is this anime about? And next, we have an an action scene where Atlas is like, "Oh, the um the cloud of the gold saints." And then they charge at him and then he's like, "All like you, you you can't touch me I'm, I'm invincible and then they do a triple attack they distract them with their uh, uh, punch and kick and then he says like fools and then Seiya says Pegasus star and well that's the end of them and then the animation when he runs and look at the wings from the back I mean simply everything was marvelous like beautiful <sighs> well guys that's the best in that's the best scene for me if you disagree, you're more than welcome to put your comments down in the comments section below. But to me, that is the best scene of Saint Seiya. Hands down. So, this is the end of the video. One more time, I wanted to uh, thank each and every single one of you, my, my subscribers. You mean the world to me. Thank you, man, for being here. Thank you for reaching the end of the video. I know you're tired of hearing thanks, but man to me it 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 is what moves me to make videos if you weren't here i wouldn't be making videos i would be playing video games or something else man so thanks again and i'll catch you in the next video huh all right take it easy